Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, I've got my two for Tuesday. Yes, indeedy. Um, I'll start with this guy first. This is the Uncle Henry, the Uncle Henry LB5, LB5. This is a small little fella, perfect size, perfect size. Um, I really, really like this one. Rosewood covers. Um, it's just a really great piece. Let me back up a little bit to get a little, there you go. Had to get a little focus action on it. But look at this little piece here. It's really, now, both of these knives, this one as well, I've had in my collection, uh, for quite a few years. And I can't believe that I've never pulled them out or carried them because now that I'm back reinduced to re uh introduced to them, I just can't believe how good they are. These are fantastic little knives. They're smaller on the smaller end. And um boy, I'll tell you, they're just they're just little crackers, man. Um this reminds me, these two pieces remind me of something that my grandfather used to carry. And he used to carry these in his pocket with a bunch of change. And they used to always constantly jingle that change in his pocket. And family members would always say to him, stop, stop doing that. Uh, you know, because it would get, it would become annoying at a certain point. You know what I mean? Because he wouldn't stop jingling. And that's what he was known for. He jingled it all the time to change in his pocket. That's what he was known for. You know, jingling that change. That's, that's just what he did. Um, his name was John. His name was Uncle John. And, um, but yeah, it's just, this memories. Um, let's move on. I'll show you this guy here. This is um, this is a Baron son. This is a Baron son, and this one might even be closer to what he carried than the other one there than this Uncle Henry um, Uncle Henry piece. But this is really, really a cool piece. Um, this Baron Son's great. Nickel silver bolsters, rosewood covers. I mean, this is a nice piece. I can't believe I really never carried this. Um, just a great little slender piece. Just to drop in your fifth pocket. Uh, your coin pocket. And you're off and running. This is a very, very good little piece of cutlery. This one comes in, I believe, at like $30. This one comes in at 20 and you get the sheath with it. We didn't even get to that yet, though. But you get the sheath with this one. So just a great buy for both of them, really. I mean, this is worth $30. This, um, this Baron Son is worth $30 to me. But um, close it up. Give you a look at it closed up. Just a great... Great looking little knife here. That's 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 what I that's what it is. It's a great looking little pocket knife. So you got that there. And this one, you if you choose to, although you don't need to, it's small enough to where you could stick it in your front pocket or your this could go in your fifth pocket carry too, your change pocket because this this give you a look at what it looks like I mean if you want it to if you're that kind of guy you know you could definitely put this on your hip and tote this around but for me I think it's just a little too small I don't need to use that go up to that to use that it's a little too small I think it would just ride just fine in the, in my fifth pocket. But you can see, we're going to compare them both now. We're going to um, show you them side by side and give you a look at them. Now you can see 
that if you get a, if you, you can't get any closer, you can't get that too much closer into pocket knives. This has got uh, brass bolsters. This has got nickel silver. And I think that they're both rosewood uh, covers, but I think different uh, shades of rosewood. But I believe that they're both rosewood. That's what you're getting there. You can see the blades. Look how nice them blades are. Really, really nice blades. Give you a look at them. A look at it. Backside. Like I said, this is an LB5. This is uh, Uncle Henry LB5. It's right there. That's that one. And this one is a... Uh, this one is a um, Baron Son. Just a little lockback. That's all it is. Baron Son little lockback. It almost comes up like a little... Rhino tip. But I really like both of them. I really, really like both blades. They're really nice looking. They're nice looking, elegant, uh, gentleman carry blades. These are two gentleman carry blades. I mean, if you're looking for a gent carry, you can't beat either one of these. You just can't. You really, really can't. And like I said, this one comes with the uh, sheath. So if that's what you opt for, that's what you that's what you're gonna get. And I got an honorable mention here too. My honorable mention is this guy right here. This cattleman's cutlery, man. And this Cattleman's Cutlery is a great piece. You get this at uh, traditional pocket knives. Um, nice little lock back, locked up tight, man. Once she's engaged, she's not going nowhere. But I wanted to give you guys a look at that because it's a fantastic little lock back. If you're looking for a lock back, this is a good one. All three of them are relatively the same size. They're all... They're basically all the same. All three of them are the same thing with little similarities. You know what I mean? You can see you got little similarities here. This one's a little bit bigger, you know, but I love this one. This is, this is the, this is the money size right here. This is the size that you want. Just a little bit bigger again. This has got like walnut covers on it. But the size of it, look at that size, nice and small. You aren't going to have no problem with this one, man. No problem. <sighs> Fit and finish is really good. Really good. I think this one is $25. $25. Cattleman Cutlery. And uh, it's got 440C on the steel. This is good to go, man. This is a good this is a good little knife. You might want to check out all that uh cattleman's cutlery uh on traditional pocket knives. They got a lot of stuff over there. Uh cattleman's cutlery. But give you a look at that. So that's the cattleman's cutlery. Right there. This is the um Uncle um, Uncle Henry piece. You can see right there, Uncle Henry Shrade. Give you a drive by it at the blade. There's the covers. Brass bolsters. And that's an LB5, like I said. Nice covers. Nice rich covers. You can see it now that the light's shining nice on them. Really nice covers. And you're getting a sheath with this one. Great, great little piece. Great little piece. And lastly is the um, 
bearing some. Look how beautiful that uh, wood is. That rose wood. Let's see if it's better on the, there you go. There you go. Look how beautiful that rose wood is. This has got uh, nickel, nickel silver bolsters, not brass. Preference is up to you, whatever you like. But just a great piece. All three of them are just, just really dynamite pieces. Really, really dynamite pieces. All right, guys. I think that's about it. That's about all I could cover right now on M3. So, uh, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about these two for Tuesdays that I threw up here. This is in this mon uh, honorable mention right here. I love this little cattleman's cutlery. Fits in your hand, just perfect, man. Nice little, nice little pocket dropper. Nice little pocket dropper. Nice and slender. 25 bucks. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go, I guess. Let you get down the road and we'll keep you. Drop me a comment if you can. If you can, I understand that as well. I know everybody's busy. So, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. All right. You guys be good. Be well. Be safe. And, um, yeah, you guys take care now. Okay, bye-bye.